Welcome to part two of our molarity or our concentration um, video. This is to do with dilutions and it's a, um, how we calculate dilutions in chemistry. A dilution is done by adding water to something. So if you're diluting something, you have your, your stock and then you add some water to it to make it a little bit more dilute, not as concentrated. The interesting thing about our dilution is that the number of moles in a dilution does not change. All you're doing is adding water to adjust how much volume you have. So in terms of diluting with calculations, um, calculating using dilutions, we use this formula here, C1V1 equals C2V2, where we have the initial concentration and our initial volume is equal to our final concentration multiplied by our final volume. So basically looking at a ratio between concentration and volume. So um, this is a calculation or well, this is a formula that you'll do if you're actually using a dilution of some kind, where you have your initial concentration multiplied by volume equals your final concentration multiplied by volume. And what we can do is find out any of these by simply rearranging by dividing. So our C2 is equal to V1 B, C1 V1 over V2. So obviously just taking our V down under here. So simply by dividing, with your, the opposite of what you want to find out is how you'll rearrange your equation. This will be similar to the way I did my last video where instead of me trying to answer these using um, PowerPoint, I'll actually film myself and show you my proper working out for calculating these questions here. And obviously you'll also have a, another worksheet on dilutions to calculate your dilutions as well. So um, the next video you'll see or the next part of this video will be me actually working these questions out live. So watch that. Okay, so welcome. This is the questions that I'm going to deal with in terms of dilutions. Um, as you can see, these are the same questions that are on the notes. So let's go have a look at these dilution questions. We've got 10 mil of 0.5 molar hydrochloric acid is diluted with 100 mils of water. Calculate the final concentration. So obviously this word here, diluted, means C1V1 equals C2V2. Tells me straight away that I need to use a dilution thing. The word diluted tells me, and you can see it's being diluted because you're adding water to it. So it's obviously this one here. My initial concentration, so C1 equals 0.5, V1 equals 10. Okay, because I've got 10 mils of this. My C2 is a question mark because I don't actually know what it is. I want to calculate my final concentration. But my V2 is, now I've diluted it with 100 mils of water. We start off with 10. We diluted with 100 mils. So my V2 is going to be 110 mil. Now, I just need to make sure that these volumes are in the same units. Okay, so that, that's all right. Rearrange this to work out what my concentration 2 is. I get C2 equals C1V1 over V2. So this is equal to 0 0.5 multiplied by 0, sorry, by 10 divided by 110 equals C2, which equals, let me just work this out, um, 0 0.5 times 10 divided by 110. And I need to go equals into this as well. It is 0 0.045 molar. So my concentration, when it's diluted, is 0 0.045 molar by looking at C1V1 equals C2V2. And always writing down what my initials are and what my finals are. And if I don't know it, I put a question mark and then I rearrange it to work out what that question mark actually is going to be. All right, next question. Okay, question two. Calculate the amount of three molar sulfuric acid required to make 500 mils of 0.5 molar sulfuric acid. So we've got an initial concentration. We've got a final volume and concentration. And obviously, it's asking us to make up a solution. So chances are it's going to be a dilution question. So C1V1 equals C2V2. Again, I start off by writing out my formula. In every single calculation question, I write out my formula. So please do that when you're doing your calculations. 
C1, V1. So C1 equals C2, sorry, V1 equals. So my initial concentration is obviously 3 molar. Okay, because that's how much 3 molar is what I'm starting off with. My initial volume, I don't know, because I want to know how much I need to use to make my final volume. So I don't know that. My C2 and V2 is uh, my concentration 2 is 0.5 molar, because that's how much I'm ending up with. And I'm making 500 mils of it. So I'm going to write 500 mils of that solution. So obviously I need to work out V1. So I'll rearrange my equation to make V1, the subject, equals C2 V2 over C1. And I'll bang in these values. So obviously I'm just taking this down to the bottom here. 0 0.5 times 500 divided by 3. So let's just work that out on a calculator. Equals 0 0.5 times 500 divided by 3. I need 83.3 mil. Because I'm using mil here, my calculation, my answer comes out in mil. So obviously, the amount required is 83 mil. So I start off with 83 mil, I then make it up to 500 mils of liquid. Hopefully that makes sense, and let's go look at the next question. Okay, this is more of a um, more of a practical question. Um, what might actually happen in a, in a question that you're dealing with in, in a lab? What we have is a 10 mil aliquot, and aliquot is just simply a, an amount, so a little sample. So a 10 mil sample aliquot of sodium hydroxide is diluted to 250 mil. Obviously diluted, it means C1V1 equals C2V2. The diluted solution has a concentration of, or found to have a concentration of 0 0.1 molar. Calculate the concentration of the original solution. So C1V1, C2V2. Okay, my initial concentration, I don't know. Calculate, that's what I need to actually calculate what it says in the question. Calculate the concentration of the original solution. We don't know what it is. The volume of the original solution, obviously we have to start off with, is 10 mil. So 10 mil to start off with. My final concentration, reading the question, the diluted solution has a concentration of 0 0.1 molar and it's been diluted to 250 mil. So my final volume is 250 mil. Okay, now I have all my values in here. I can rearrange to make C1 the target. So C1 equals C2V2 over uh, V1. So therefore it equals to 0 0.1 times 250 divided by 10, which equals 0 0.1 times 250 divided by 10 and equals 2.5 molar, apparently. So my original solution had a concentration of 2.5 molar. Now each time, what am I doing in these dilution questions? I'm reading it, I'm working out if it's being a dilution, and I'm writing down C1, V1, C2, V2. I then write down what the values for each of these are, and if I need to find out what they are, I put a question mark next to it. I then rearrange my equation to work out what I need to do, and then I just bang in the values. Interesting thing um, about this, I haven't actually given you one of these questions and to do, but if you actually have to calculate V2, just remember that this is the final volume. Okay? Sometimes you'll need to know how much to add to a certain value. Obviously, then you need to go to the final, take away how much you start off to begin with. But that's just that's just another thing there. And hopefully you'll go through a few questions and you'll understand when that applies. But that's it for dilution. Um, hopefully you've understood most of what I've talked about. And the next one is about looking at different types of concentrations. So percentage concentration is the next video. So take it easy and see you then.